think of escapism as being denial. So a little bit of escapism is considered good, too much is not. dream. It's what dreams are made of, you know. I he's my big he's one of my biggest inspirations as a painter. And yeah, and I the amount I'm of, just thankful to be here. The amount of detail and imagination that goes into each square inch of the painting really brings to the forefront all of the, the little intricacies of life that you might not notice in your daily life, but you do see in your dreams. And I'm surprised constantly when I look at his paintings. It's not a sin, it's not a crime, it's not a disease. Um, and I think uh, if you think of it in terms of flow states, well, flow states are where you shut down your prefrontal cortex and now you're able to dedicate the function of your brain to the task at hand. With this painting, for example, which is, you know, it's, it's very musical and, and I love the beauty that moves through the painting. But the, the thing that's really exciting to me is how many places the viewer can explore with their imagination. It, it invites us to go through this vortex into this, uh, the mind of this artist and be whatever you want to be. I was literally looking through hours through your book. And each one, it was like I wanted to get to the next one as quick as I could, but I wanted to savor the one I was in. But I was, I'm a sensitive, I'm a medium. And it was very emotional for me. So I would be crying and I would be laughing and I've never been impacted by art like that. I don't take credit for exactly where that comes from. I'm a vessel for it to come through. And there, there are pieces where I allow more of it to play a role and less. I tailor it, you know, it kind of um, comes and goes to different d degrees. The animals, I think, are particularly nice in this sort of batch of paintings. Yeah, uh, this is the first time I've seen the work, but I agree, I particularly like the animals and just sort of, they really capture that essence, especially with the cats. I enjoy the cat-bird uh, uh, oxymoronism in it. It spoke to me very clearly, as immediately when I saw it. So this is one piece that I really loved. Humans have a similar makeup to understand things in a linear form. But some of us have a responsibility to look at things in a spatial form or three-dimensional. So our model and our explanation for things happens in the round, like a theater in the round. At which point the information becomes much more um, chaotic because it's harder to harness and and keep track of that on a linear plane or explain it on a linear plane which is why uh, images, painting, music have a greater range to convey uh, levels of understanding that are really maybe not within our reality within our design to fully understand.